We are now on the coast of England. We are taking a very, very big risk that I don't recommend anyone doing if they can avoid. But we are taking a 71 mile trip and we have 74 miles left. Now the Tesla, it told me, stay below 55 to reach destination. Unfortunately, a lot of these roads are all 60 and 70 mile an hour. However, we don't have a choice right now and let's see what happens. So we will update you throughout the trip if anything strange happens. We're about at the halfway point between the supercharger and where we were. We have about 37 miles to go. An interesting point is the Model 3 keeps switching between charging needed and then it just disappears between the two destinations. Right now, it will say that we only have 1% when we reach the supercharger. I don't believe that, I think we'll be at about 2%, which is around six miles. A tip for you though, we were kind of lucky because we were on very like non-major country roads. Now if you drive on, non, uh, on these country roads, you can drive like much slower and that's needed when, you're, when your vehicle is like this low battery, like the slower you drive, the more um, range you'll get. I mean, it's, it's minuscule, but it's every, it, it does make a difference. If you are on these roads where it's safe to do lower than the speed limit, because there isn't that many people on it, you definitely should. I'll give you an example. We were on a road, a very, very long road. There was no one coming on either direction like for a long time. Uh, of course, you don't know this, but I mean, because it's dark, you can only assume that behind you, a car is coming. And once I saw that there was car, a car coming, when it did happen, obviously then I did speed up. But if you are at that situation where you have this kind of road, feel free to go at like 25, even 30 miles an hour on those 60 mile an hour country roads because it's, you know, it's more efficient for the car. You'll end up reaching your destination with more range. I'm averaging here around 45 miles an hour on the uh, on the motorway, which isn't so far. Well, we're not actually on the motorway. We're on a we're on an A road right now, but it is a um, it is a 70 mile an hour speed limit. So now I'm at 50, but we're averaging around 45, which uh, isn't too bad. I think that's the minimum speed limit. But again, always drive with caution and drive safely because you can't drive at speeds like 30 miles an hour on these kind of roads because it's considered unsafe um, yeah so I'll probably make the next video when we get there or I'll make I'll make the next clip when we get there uh, but for now we have 35 miles left and 40 miles of range so yeah let's see what happens we're about a mile away from the supercharger now and are averaging at small country roads around 40 miles an hour as you can see the battery is at eight miles and at four percent the model 3 kept guessing how much battery it will, we will have or if we will even make it at so, uh, like at certain points it said will we even make it to the supercharger you know you need to you need to charge before you reach the destination as long as you st stick to slow speeds where it's safe to do of course and as long as you can you know maintain that then you if, if the Tesla or if the range is within the distance your battery estimates you have left you should be able to make it but this destination was 75 miles away or something like that I might be wrong but it was around 70 miles away and we had around 70 miles of battery range left and we're still not even there yet but we are now at eight miles, which is pretty much what we thought we would be at almost throughout the entire trip. It is a really good and quite accurate way of, of measuring how much you have left. I mean, that's why it exists. However, I don't really recommend this kind of, uh, this kind of thing to people that don't need to do it, especially on older vehicles, because your, the way it guesses can, can differ. I mean, this is a brand new Model 3, pretty much. If it was an old Model S or Model X, or even an old Model 3, I mean, the Model 3s aren't new enough to, to be considered old yet. But say this is one of the five or six-year-old Model Ss, maybe even earlier, maybe even three-year-old Model 
S's or X's that have a good amount of mileage on them, I wouldn't recommend uh, going down to the brim on these uh, on these chargers. And wow, look at that! Both stalls are taken <laughs> on the superchargers. But we can actually charge for free on the Type Two, so we're going to do that for now. But yeah, so to conclude. It is definitely possible to do trips like this, however not recommended, that's really the whole point. Percentage, we're, we've arrived at the supercharger with 3%, and as you saw before, 8 miles. If you care about kilometers, we should probably give that to. We're at 12 kilometers, which seems, you know, seems alright. To conclude, drive safe slowly if you can, don't do this trip if you don't have to, and the range estimate on the model 3 or on newer ve tesla vehicles is pretty accurate thank you for watching we're gonna go either charge for free or supercharge until this is ready and yeah see you in the next video